said you'd be there for me in times of trouble when I need you when I'm down. And likewise, you need friendship. It's from my side below, but I still need the things have been changing. You have goals to achieve, but the road you take are broad and heartless. The ones you make, you're not aware. You throw stones. Can you see that I am human? I am breathing, but you don't give a damn. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was getting well with Sai. I was like, oh, they've got me some fun. That's a run and a half, that one, isn't it? I feel common sort of thing, isn't it? What a night, what a day I've had today. Six fish all together, Saturday evening. Just watching the water, it's all calmed off now nicely. I see two fish show last night at 11 o'clock. Well past my spot, right out in open water, but bosh, bosh. So I hope I'll see a couple more tonight. But I'm gonna get the old Errol dinner on the go in a minute. The old chicken, rice, peppers, onion and that. Uh, Nando sauce, hot Nando sauce. Yeah, life's good, isn't it? So, fingers crossed, we'll get amongst them. I've got a deal going on with Loretta. She said if I catch 13 carp, which is like unheard of out of here, but I've had six already, and a 40, then they're going to get me a plaque made up for me swim. Ellis Palace, I told you he's coming. He's coming home, mate. If not, I'll make it myself, won't I? Or if there's anyone out there that fancies making me one, I want a nice wooden plaque and I want it engraved. Proper nice. If I make it myself, I'm just going to get a bit of wood, draw on it with crayon, spell it wrong, and I obviously. So just making it straight out of Essex and that. <laughs> As Batty Berg would say, I'm going to write a book, a colouring book with crayons. Hell me out. So I reckon I'll be catching up with ya in the hours of darkness. If not, I'm pretty confident in the morning, the next time I catch up with ya, it probably won't be a sunrise shot or a scenic rod shot. It'll be me holding a carp, big fat 40. Keep on cross, ladies and gents. I'd love to have a 40 out of here. Of course, cool so far I'm well happy with. So, a nice chunk. We'll uh, top it off nicely, wouldn't it? Well, it's the hours of darkness. I can't even eat my dinner in peace because out there, right there, is another common. Madness. I will be rods in for a bit earlier. Bait it up and that. I'll get my dinner on the go. The Errol special. I've been interrupted. So, yeah, I will see you in the hours of darkness. Once I finish this, and I'll be behind my camera. It's not a massive common. It's nothing special, to be fair. But um, I'm going to photograph everything from here, just get a feel of what the stock was like. Get myself an album. But yeah, happy days. Cheerio. That's a bite. Gonna rip. <laughs> Put two bleeps on that. That's a fish, mate.
need to do me photos and that of this one. I can't when this has just done two bleeps. Excuse me, bright lights make me look like a white coat. But yeah, getting used to this now, and I all this uh, photography and filming. Done enough of it. I think it's my seventh carp this session. So one step closer to the Ellis Palace plaque, Loretta. This is not quite the 40 pounder, it's 18 pound 12 ounces. And I'm taking photos and filming it purely for my own self. Get myself an album together. Because although there's, this takes sort of four separate clubs on here, and I'm on one of them, and no one's fishing it, so I don't know what's in here. Yeah, lovely carp. It's going to look a bit um, white, it's going to be a total white out with this like that, but what can you do at night, eh? Yeah, another one for my album to see what the stock is because to me it's unknown. To other people fishing it on the other banks, it's known. That carp are called the Langridge Common. It's probably called St. Else, so they'll probably moan. But it's my personal experience on here. It's my own little journey. And this is another piece to that journey. Absolutely loving it here. Right, now go get your big mother, yeah? An absolute chunk. That's what I want now. Two bleeps from the other rod just then. So uh, I've got another one on the way, I reckon. Ta da! Oh, I've got to tell you this before I forget. Well, I won't forget, but I'm going to tell you now as it happened. So the right hand rod I've just cast back out, that's what I had my fish on. Hit a spot. Obviously, it's dark, but. A general uh, horizon marker. So yeah, hit the clip, hit the water, feeling it down, and then it went donk, donk. And there, some of you may have experienced this. I've definitely experienced it. Once on Halton Church Lake, I had the same thing, resulted in two forties and a twenty-eight. So basically, I've hit a carp on the way down. There's carp on my spot. Them two bleeps that I had, there's obviously fish feeding on me, on me spot. Because when I've cast back out, two rods on the same spot, I've hit a carp. Nah, when you've got a lake that's 180 acres, yeah, this ain't, it's a lot bigger than that. It's, it's bends round and goes well beyond. That's an island there. That's not a, um, that's not the bank like that. But yeah, it's massive. And uh, to hit a carp on the way down with your lead, they're stacked up on me. I can feel the sleepless night coming. What are you saying? What are you saying, Bailey Chops? Come on, Bailey Chops, give me that. Give me that 40 pounds, yeah? God, my reels need a cane, don't I? <laughs> right, turn that off. Turn that off. Welcome back. It's the hours of darkness, and yeah, I hit a fish on the way down with my four ounce lead, didn't I? The old Abbey distance lead, and uh, it was right close to the bottom when I hit the fish, so it's obviously feeding on the spot. And I think, right, judging by this, I've got the culprit. Check that out. What can you see on this? It's different. That's a four ounce distance lead hole and no eyeball. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Some people watch this on YouTube and think, oh my God, he's actually stuck a lead in some, some poor fish's eyeball. But I ain't. This eyeball's been missing for a while. I've caught a carp like this before from a local Warren fishery. Used to be a member of that. And uh, yeah, that had the similar thing. But that had been gone a long time. It's, um, it was proper scarred over. This is gone years but there's actual the eye socket there still but yeah lovely character another one to the journey but it gets better got one in the net now I need to weigh it I'm going to it's five in the morning so I'm going to wait till it gets light to do the photos and that but it's a chunk it's that big fat mirror that I wanted it's not a 40 but it's a good 30 so we'll see you when it gets light 
if I'm still awake, right, I've got to stay up, right, call cool, this car fishing drug mental, I'll get more sleep on crystal meth, you know. <laughs> right, let's have it. Right, this is something I don't ever do. Oh, is that a coat on me, Diane? Yeah, diving. Right, something I never ever do. It's just getting light, and I'm gonna spam out. <laughs> I don't recommend it on waters, but this water's big. I'm not interfering with no one, and putting bait out at the minute. After catching so many carp, it's not going to spook them. I mean, cast out and stuck a four ounce lead in a poor carp's eyeball. So, if that didn't spook it, a bit of cell won't spook it, would it, lad? So, yeah, just top it up a bit. Give it about six bombs, because that will bring me bites. We're on a mission at the minute. Proper mission. I need to get 13 carp and a 40 panda full of rattle on my plaque. A bit short then. There is a geyser on that other bank, that's a different section, like right? different club. So he's probably thinking, what's this geyser doing? He ain't got a clue. But yes mate, I have got a clue. I'm going for my 10th carp this session, mate. There's your clue. <laughs> yeah, it's mad. This place shouldn't be this easy. And I know, ah, it's because I've caught, I've cut this swim out. It's, it used to be a swim. Found out it was called the radiator swim, because at the front of the swim, here, instead of having a scaffold board or whatever, it's a radiator. But it, a tree fell down and it got all overgrown, no one's fished it for years so um, I've cut it open again and this zone here where I'm spotting it's just the kill zone mate, it's basically, you know what I mean it might as well have been out of bounds, no one can get to it it's safe but it's a swim make the effort, cut the swim out catch carp, simple as that isn't it, if you're allowed to exactly what I've done, paid off nicely. Sunrise, two coffees down already, went to bed at one o'clock, one o'clock this morning, got up for a couple of bleeps at three o'clock, then I had that blind eyed common at like four, thought oh, I'll retain that, I'll stick it in the retainer, do photos when it gets light, I'll get some sleep and then I've Five o'clock, I've got this one. It's not as big as I thought. It's 30 pound, four ounces, but it's mega spawned out. It's probably a mid to upper 30 normally. And when they're spawned out, when you, when you play them in and you get them in the net and that, they still look as big as what they normally are. They've just got no, uh, got no weight in them. Like, as soon as I lifted it out in the net, I was like, don't weigh nothing. Like. I was expecting to feel a bit of weight and I was like, ah, oh, this ain't no up to 30. Ah, that's short. Don't matter at the minute. Spread it all over the gaff. They have it. They're having it, mate. But yeah, to make yourself look a bit better. I'll edit that cast out. Standard. Just do what the other boys do on their YouTube videos, isn't it? Make myself look good and that. Everyone does a miscast. Everyone don't hit the clip every time. So it's cart fishing, isn't it? No one's the absolute nuts. Right, one more, one more, then we get a rattler. 
I reckon. Tanker yourself this weekend. Could have used a lot more if I bought more. Didn't expect this many carp. do topped up nicely a few spawns a couple more bites no rest for the wicked eh I've fished a lot of big pits in my time and I've had good sessions and you think ah oh, it's easy and then you come back the following week don't catch nothing come back again don't catch nothing big pits when they move they move and I've got one one swim to play with really and uh, I've got to make the most of this. Apply the effort. Pre bait during the week. Try and keep them in the zone. In the zone, mate. Because then we'll have good autumn and I could even stay all winter. Alright, we'll get that fish out in a minute and show you. But we might get another one before we get that out. We'll see. Alright, here we have it. A feisty one. A feisty nice one. Got me big fat mirror that I wanted. It's a chunk. Got it in the net of playing it and I was like, it was just staying deep, staying heavy, staying out there. It never kited left or right like all the others. It just come straight in and took me quite a while to get in. So I knew it was a big fish and it's a big carp normally, but it's spawned out in a minute. And you can tell that when you see it. It's a nice one, but you can see where my right hand is. You can see it's just empty. So it's probably like a mid 30, upper 30. This time around it's 30 pound four ounces. But what a cracker. Mega pleased with that. I've not seen a photo of this one either. It's a broken linear scale pattern. So I'm guessing this one, we'll call it the broken lin in my album. Probably got a name elsewhere on the pit, but this one's the broken in mega carp, mega chuffed, and there's still time for some more. It's Sunday now, I'm gonna pack up today and go home. But I want to catch a couple more first. Happy days, really happy with that one. Thanks, mate. Nice one, that. Ripper. Fighting so much. We'll get down the top quick ASAP. That's a run and a half, that one in it. I feel common sort of thing this way. Yeah. Got no line on this. Literally. I've got to get this. It's going to come out. 
come back this way because I put the kite on. Look at this steenery, man. Oh, dreamy. It's on the surface. Please be a big chunk, it's definitely powerful. Give me that 40. My 10th bite. 10 bites, if I land it, it's 10 cup. I did trim it all back, like I said. I've said it many times. It needs trimming more, doesn't it? So either a chunk or it's a short fat one. But powerful. Similar to the it ain't the same one. It's similar to the other one, like right? but oh, that's really nice. Let's see what the other side looks like. Another broken linear beast mode, absolute beast. It, they look if you spawned that, I thought the other one was about 35, didn't I? It's probably it looks a real big fish, real big. scale pattern on it could be spawned out so it looks big but judging from that I'd say up to 30 it'd be spawned out it won't be with it it's big oh, come on this gets better and better number 10 what can I say no words just got that one out weighed it other rod went double take so I've got another one in there check this out this one is a proper nice scaly. It's a fair size as well. The colours on this, the scales and the colours are unreal. And that's a big fish. Scale damage on one side. Spawning and stuff, I suppose. Yeah, it's a good, good fish that. The lake that keeps on giving. What a hard fighting carp. One of my hardest fighting mirrors, for sure. 30, 32, 10. Might call it Nokia. Trust me, it ain't the first carp to be named after a Nokia phone for the weight. Nokia 32, 10, obviously. But yeah, um, I think it's the same strain as the last one, the broken lin. I thought it was a simo on the bank, but looking at the photos, it's a proper one. And this one is even more proper. It's a chunk. It's a real nice big carp. Oh, look at that. This is next level. One I've not seen a photo of. If I'd seen a photo of this, this would be on the target list. Right up there with the A team. So mega mega fish. But as I got this in the uh, net, got it outweighed it, quickly stuck it in a retainer, let's do photos. The other rod ripped off, and that is a fish I see a picture of yesterday. I think it's the same one. Fair size as well, but proper scaly, dark, ah, oh, proper lovely carp. So we'll slip this one back, get that one out, and uh, yeah, I've had 11 fish now. Thank you. Let's get you back, girl. 
Wow, the second part of price, the double take. This is definition of a skaty banger. I hope you know. You ever heard the word skaty banger, River Girls and Boys? Got Barry the Barbell here and his missus. <laughs> <laughs> Right. We'll be quick with this because it ain't happy. Oh, check that one out. It's a proper carp that. See a photo of this yesterday. Andy showed me a photo. I knew I'd catch it. So I catch them all that I see photos of. Yeah, I'm well pleased. Let's put it back. <laughs> do you want me to come in? Yay! <laughs> well done. Yay! Well done. Fucking, I've never been beat up so much. I've only been in the net a little bit. Alright, oh. yeah. Gilly. Another one for the album. <laughs> and a proper one at that. Got the scowls, look at the colours. Mm. That's what I thought, and you're trying to do that, right? I get buzzing through it. I thought I heard that before the buzzer. Could this be the big 4 0? Do you know what this means, though? He's got to get one more for the fucking challenge. Let <laughs> <laughs> We better get back and start looking at Plex. <laughs> good. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought there was a load of red ants somewhere. Yeah. I'm filming. My one. No, on mine. Right. If I was to send them over, where you want me to send them to? There you go. No swearing. Loretta. Well, I've just screamed because I'm getting covered in red ants. Yeah, I'll put them now, partner. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Swan's coming to have a look at you. <laughs> I've been sitting all this time and they've not bothered me. I've got this bite. Right, let's go then. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to get a bite. So this, this fish knew you was going? Yep. <laughs> so if I say I'm going again, the other, the other one will yeah. go. I think it's a big one. No, I say it doesn't look like it. It's a bit easier, right? But... Could be swimming this way. Every now, but there's a lot of weed. Yeah. So, what do you want to name the swim again? They ain't got to 13 yet. Just the Ellis Palace. Yeah. I used to work with men, so I can yeah. give it. Just don't go near her when she's watching UFC. Because <laughs> then she thinks. Oh, she thinks. Oh, she watches that. She thinks she can start attacking you. Yeah. Yeah. Twelfth of the weekend. Twelfth of the weekend, thirteen overall in two weekends. Yeah. Yeah, or lady as someone put. Lady boy. Lady boy, going when's Thailand booked? Come on, get I don't want that night. There's still other fish showing out the back as well, just see it top. Yeah. Further out, yeah. Just... You've only got an eye for a bit of fish, isn't it? Hmm. Probably buried a barbel out long. Do you know what, I wouldn't be surprised, there's probably barbel in here, mate. Yeah. That's my next challenge, isn't it? Yep, yeah. next, next yeah, challenge. You you, you've got to, what you've got to do, right, you've got to come down in Tweed. <laughs> right, I'll get my split cane rod out. And sent a pin, and you've got to catch a barbel. Out of here? No, out of the river. 
Well, this is either right in weight or head weight. Because they know they can get round the eye at that bit there. Those carp have got brains, mate. They go wherever they can to try and get rid of you. Brains. Brains. She ain't done yet. Please trim that tree up. Oh, uh, yes. Sorry, sorry, Lord. Lord? <laughs> Lord Eddie. <laughs> Don't give him that title. No. I'll get your Kingsway beanie ready, yeah? No, it's the number 12. It's a big one, isn't it? Is that a common? That's a big mirror. That's that full one. <laughs> well, if that's at 40, what's the, what is that trying to do? That's the hoodie. That's the hoodie. No. <laughs> <laughs> it won't even wait, it's just big. This is that big one that thing you've got bad. Big Z. Andy and Loretta have just left to swim. Loretta bought me luck. I've got one of the pigs in the in the swing. I've weighed it and that. I'm gonna get it out now, do the photos, film it. Yeah, and you can see what it goes. 39. Yeah? Right. Moment of truth. Have we got our 40? It's a big fat mirror. Your challenge? Hang on, I'm lost. <sighs> 39 8. <laughs> <laughs> 39.8 the radar. That doesn't look good. Your challenge is uh. <laughs> it's not repeated. Oh. 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 How close can I get to a 40 pound now? The lake that keeps on giving me. 39.8, not quite the 40, but it's the big fat mirror that I wanted. The big fat pig. And to be fair, I'm actually liking this. Lovely dark fish. It's a simo for sure, this one. But um, it's got some real character. It's got a pug, a pug head. Right. Did hear there's a fish in there called the pug. That could be it, mate. Check that out. Nice and dark. Head like a bulldozer. Look at that head, mate. Proper old bruiser of a carp. Right, well, one more fish. We've got to go home soon. But yeah, what a weekend. Really enjoyed my fishing. The fishing bug's back. The Eddie Star is back. What more can you ask for? One more big carp would be nice. Oh, check that beast out. It's a proper beast of a carp. Go get a bigger one, yeah? Old pug nose. Oh, 
with the coochie crew I love when they put it on, how are you? Yeah, you look nice and you look ready Definitely can't knock your body Uh, this the what they used to be Root boy the DJ with the melody Come on, this the what they used to be Root boy DJ, no degree I'm a jump on a mic sensational Sending the message international Little something for the ladies to get down And the guys around town to rock crowd Here we go again I like the mix and the blend Got to set the trend as we drink and spend Right through the weekend Run, go tell our friend how we comprehend We treat down the place and then Make the noise if you want that, come again Cause you can't get down unless you like then Out to the ladies and gentlemen Just keep dancing till I say when True man, I go say when you might as well in one for sure <sighs> right Loretta <laughs> want my plaque now 13 carp <sighs> sweet just gone two o'clock in the afternoon took me sausages and had a bite my lucky number 13 so the plaque for the swim is coming home. Mission complete. Absolute red letter. Couldn't ask for a better session than this. It's a massive, when I landed it, I was like, oh my God, that is huge. It's like 50 pound of head and mouth. It's a proper swim all up front. 50 pound head, shoulders and all that. But there's no rear end to it. It's a 30 pounder. I'll be very surprised if it ain't. The width of it, the head on it, it's 50 pound all day long. <laughs> if I would have lost it in the net as it was coming over the cold, and only see the front of it, I'd lost a chance. Absolute chance. And we're going to cook this. It's not an Errol dinner, it's an Errol breakfast, believe it or not. I've had no time. So, it's one of Errol's speciality wraps, isn't it? Right. Yeah, cook that, sort that out. I'm going to have to start packing up, but I've got to go home. So, keep completing the mission. I've got my own way again. Happy days. <laughs> Loretta, get on that pack here. Right, I've just had a phone call from Andy, and he's coming back with Loretta. And he's like, put your phone on record in your BV, ready for him to get here. I think they've got me something. It's got to be better than uh, Loretta's dungaree present. What was it like? Uh, world's shittiest gift idea award. <laughs> she got the award for that one. That one. Oh, here they are, whistling. So uh, rain at the minute, so I've still not got my camera set up, but I need to pack up. But yeah, here we go. Can hear them. What is this? Uh, champagne, I reckon. Champers, give me the champagne. 13 carp, job done. Or well, they might have made this plaque already. What are you doing? Waiting for you to film it. I'm filming. Oh, all right. I'm waiting for you to walk in I my door. He's on the phone. No. I thought he was on the phone. What you got for me? He's filming that. You ain't got me like 20 cans of Stella. I've got a barrel back to my van, have you? Oh. <laughs> Where's your beanie? It's in my bag, yeah. Put it on then, it's no good in your bag. Yeah, I'll put it I on. Wanna, I want to give you something. I don't know where it is, I'm, I'm recording. Oh, oh you're such a... Right, I just want to say congratulations on 
on ca uh, catching your 13th. Yeah. So that's the Kingsweed Challenge you uh, were given. Yeah. So I just want to say congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations. What the book? Your sign. A fucking hell would I have. <laughs> Your sign. You are a cock, ain't you? <laughs> you know what I mean? I was getting well excited. I was like, oh, they've got me champagne. Oh. Fucking dickhead ditch. Oh my god. <laughs> So, that is good though. And it's waterproof. That's your dick pick on that, isn't it? <laughs> little, little maggot right? <laughs> So it's, it'll be waterproof a little bit, but um, not Loretta, too sure Loretta, how, Loretta. How long it will last. I'm tired. Can you go home, please? You can get out of my fucking garden now. <laughs> I mean, go on. <laughs> off you fuck. <laughs> like, man, you can fuck off an all right. <laughs> right, this is another one. It's got bigger as I put it out of the net. And uh, we're about to weigh it. Loretta's here. She don't want me to have a 40 because uh, I think you might. She wants to beat you up. No. 39 bang on. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> uh, hell. Come on. Alright Loretta, right, fucking 50. <laughs> Make me dinner. Well, it's the carp that looks huge when I netted it. It then shrunk when I got it in the net. And it then got bigger when I got it on the mat. 39 pan. Another one, so close to that 40 pound mark, but this marks my 13th carp of the session. And then he slapped me right in the movie. Got my camera and all. Yeah, it's a, it's a big Simo. Real big, deep bodied Simo. Six thirty the session. 13 carp, six thirties, one double. The rest 20s, so probably good stamp of fish this trip. Not getting my oaks up, that it's going to be like this every weekend, but I'm hoping I'll get some consistency now and uh, have a good autumn and carry on carrying it on to the winter like I did on native meads. There's enough fish in here to warrant staying all winter to get the bites, and then I'll do it. But we'll see how it goes. If there's not that many fish in here, like I've been told, I should be getting repeats soon. You don't want that. Nah, to think that one in your second that. session. Or in a massive shout out yeah. respect. We'll pack up now, I've got to go home. This time, I've got to go home. You know what I mean? If I ever stay, be welcome, but I've caught 239 in the process. Well, it's not too bad, is it? See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>